Hi everyone, this is Master Matt, and today we're going to go through a stretching routine focusing on the hips. We're going to focus on stretching the outer and the inner hips as well as the hip flexors. The hips are a real point of difficulty for a lot of people, um, me especially. I've been told by a physical therapist that I have some of the worst hips that she's ever seen in terms of flexibility and mobility. So they're something that I really have to emphasize and put a lot of work into. So today what we're going to do is run through a handful of hip stretches. We're going to start in a static position and then after a few seconds we're going to move into a dynamic stretch from that position so that we can really deepen uh, the range of motion that we have in our hips. So as always all you have to do is follow along with me. We're going to go ahead and get started in the lunge position. So as you know you want to make sure when you're really fully extended in this stretch that you have about a 90 degree bend in your knee. You don't want it to be too close, and you don't want it to be too far, somewhere in the middle to where your knee is kind of directly over those toes or that heel. So we're going to push into the stretch, keep our chest forward for the first few seconds and just breathe in this stretch. We're really going to be opening up our hip flexors here. Very good, after a few seconds, we're gonna now lean forward a little bit and really put emphasis on the front hip. Try not to round your back too much. You wanna try and keep your back straight even though we're leaning forward. And after a few seconds in this position, we're gonna start moving in our dynamic stretch. So whatever leg is in front, which is my right leg, I'm gonna take that hand, my right hand, and I'm gonna lift it up over my head and kind of twist my body and then I'm going to bring it down back to the beginning and then back up bring this twist it's going to help deepen our stretch and add to our mobility so we're just going to slowly do this a few times and down up very good and one more All right, now we're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna put my left leg forward and look for that 90 degree position and just sit forward and kind of let your weight push into your legs. It's a very, very comfortable stretch, at least for me. Good, we're gonna lean forward now. And if you're more flexible than I am, you can probably put your elbows on the ground. That's even better. But whatever you can get to is great. You just have something to build from. Good, now we're gonna do our lifts. So now my left hand is gonna come up over the side and over my head, and down, and up. Good, again. Don't forget to keep breathing. Good, and last one. Great, okay. So our next stretch is going to be a squat. So I'm gonna get into a squat position. But the most important thing about this stretch is that I'm not lifting my heels off the ground because once I do this then I'm taking my hips out of the equation I'm no longer stretching my hips so I need to get my hips or my heels on the ground and if you can't do that what we can do is I have this pole here you have something rigid that you can grab onto that will allow you to put your heels into the ground so that you can just focus on holding your position so you don't have to be fighting the stretch the whole time if you don't have something like this you can take couple of books and put those under your feet as long as your heels are under the backs of your feet as long as your heels are planted into something and your weight is on your heels then you're fine they don't have to be even with your toes you have to start with books here and then work your way into the stretch that's fine but as long as you're putting weight there that's what's gonna drive into our hips so we're just gonna hold this stretch first for a few seconds one can be uncomfortable if you're not flexible. 
For me, it's, it's always been a hard stretch, but it's something I've been working on. So once we're here for a few seconds, what we're gonna do to make this dynamic is keep our feet planted on the ground and we're gonna just lift our back into a squatting or a frog squat. So I'm just lifting up, keeping my body down and dropping. So I'm keeping my heels planted the whole time. And then dropping slowly back down into that squat. And again, so you don't want this to be rapid motions. We don't want to bounce with these techniques. And we want these to be controlled mo movements so that we can um, safely deepen our, our range of motion here. A few more times. And down. And last one. Good. You should feel a little bit of work in those glutes and your quad muscles from the squatting. Okay, so our next stretch is gonna be our, similar to this is our side hip stretch. So we're gonna get into our, one leg is gonna be that same position from the squat, feet, foot planted on the ground, and the other one is just gonna be straight to the side of us, okay? So again, the key here is keeping this heel flat on the ground. Um, if you can, or if you can't do that, you can do the same thing with uh, a pole of some sort. The same idea is grabbing onto that so you, you don't have to fight to keep your body off the ground. This can help you hold your weight and then whatever you feel comfortable with moving to that. Ideally, you can have your hands in front here, but if it's causing you to bring your heel off the ground, you can do what I do and put one hand behind you without sitting your butt on the ground. So we're just gonna hold this for a few more seconds. We're gonna switch sides so we can get both. So I like to use this front hand and push outwards on this knee and that helps me stretch my groin and my hip more. But again, if you have a pole or something like this to use and you struggle with these stretches, I strongly recommend it. it really helps you to do the stretches correctly without all the uh, extra discomfort. So to make this one dynamic, what we're gonna do is we're just going to keep our body low and switch between our sides here. Coming up and down again, if you have this, um, pull in front of you to do this with, that's perfect. And just like with our squat, if you need something to put under your heels, you can do that as well, as long as they're putting weight into something. So it's nice and easy switching sides, trying to keep our body low. Very good. And one more time. Good. All right, so our next stretch is gonna come from the 90-90 position, which if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna put each of my knees at 90 degrees. So there's an outside knee here, and then the inside knee as close to 90 degrees as you can get. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna lean into the outside leg. So I'm gonna try to bring my chest forward towards this chin or your, the front of your foot. Um, we don't want to go too much to the outside. We want to engage this bottom hip here. So the more we push inside, the more that will be engaged. Trying not to round our back here, but keep it straight and bring our chest forward rather than just our forehead. This one's also a comfortable stretch, in my opinion. Good, we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna get to the other side. Put 90 degrees and 90 degrees. And we're gonna reach down.
having this hip mobility and hip flexibility is definitely important for martial arts, but it's generally something that's really good to have. And even if you're not a professional athlete, it's something important for your health. As you get older, if your hips aren't stable, then that causes a lot of problems, especially with the knees. And doing this, uh, things like this, stretching, uh, is really beneficial for, for keeping those in check. Okay, so to make this stretch dynamic, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch between the sides in a windshield wiper fashion. So we can come from the center. Okay, if you need to have your hands behind you, that's fine, but we wanna try and do this without our hands. So I'm gonna lean forward. All right, our 90 degrees doesn't have to be perfect as we switch sides. We're just gonna switch to where we can drop our knees and then back to the other side. So we're gonna lift, we're gonna try and keep our body up. And if you need this backhand, just to help you ease over to that side, that's fine. But just during the middle of it, try to go hands free and see how far you can get. So we're just gonna slowly switch our sides. The side is a lot more difficult for me personally. Switching here. Good. Down and out. A couple more times. Adjust. And last one. Okay, very good. Next stretch is gonna be our figure four lying stretch. We're gonna put one leg on top of the knee and then we're going to lay back and we can grab the front of our knee here or the back of the thigh. You can reach more forward like this, that's better. You can pull more. We're gonna try and drive that front knee here into this leg so that I can stretch this hip that's on my right side. Lie here for a few minutes in that stretch. Really push into it. All right, and to make this one dynamic, what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm gonna grab my, the back of my leg here. We're gonna be lifting this free leg straight until you feel a pull in the hamstring there, and then you're gonna bend it back and drive it in. And nice and easy, up, straight, and drive it in. Make these motions slow and controlled. Feel that stretch in your hip, and then release, nice and easy. Push. Last one. In. All right, we're gonna switch legs. Do the same on the opposite leg. Okay, reaching under and pull back. Grab the hamstring and lift straight and bend and drive in. Up and in. Last one. All right, very good. Okay, so for our final stretch, what we're gonna do is keep one leg straight and then we're gonna cross the other leg over. It's similar to what we just did, what we're gonna be sitting up. And then what I'm gonna try and do, so this is my right leg, I'm gonna take my left elbow and try to put it on the outside of my right knee, if you can do that. And then once you're there, you're gonna try and pull that hip across, okay? Be careful with it. You might feel cramped up a little bit, so just take it easy. Readjust if you need to. You can reach for your leg or clothing. That can help you to stay in that stretch. We wanna have our body kinda of turned 
towards that knee, the right side in this case. Now to make this one dynamic, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn as much as we can and then ease back to the front. And then with this elbow, push as we turn and then back. Nice and slow and back. Good. One more time. Good. You should feel that in your back as well as the hip as you move through that. So from the other side, now I'm going to put my right leg straight and bring my left leg over. Now my right elbow past my left knee and push. Now for our dynamic motion, we're going to twist and relax. Twist, push with that elbow and relax. Twist, good. Couple more, twist and relax. And last one, twist and relax. And that's it. Those are a few hip stretches um, along with the dynamic motions in each one. Like I said before, um, these muscles in our hips aren't things that we normally stretch in everyday activities. So it's very important that we go out of our way and make time to stretch these. And no matter your level of flexibility, it always feels better after you run through any kind of stretching routine. I can promise you that. But if you followed along with me, great job. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and keep training.